That was until the day Isaac's mom heard a voice from above. I've never seen somebody so worthless in my life. I dead ass have not seen such a more worthless- Isaac, I will do my best to save him, my lord, Isaac's mother replied, rushing into Isaac's room, removing all that was evil from his life. Again, the voice called to her. Imagine if somebody like that actually has kids. I would feel so sorry for his children because Isaac literally serves no fucking purpose. I will follow your instructions, Lord. I have faith in thee, Isaac's mother replied as she locked Isaac in his room away from the evils of the world. One last time, Isaac's mom heard the voice of God calling to her. Isaac is nothing. You serve zero purpose. You should kill yourself now and give somebody else a piece of that Isaac. Yes, Lord, anything. Isaac's mother begged. Because what are you here for? To worship me? Kill yourself. I mean that with 100%, with 1,000%. Go into his room and give somebody else a piece of that oxygen and an ozone layer that's covered up so that we can breathe inside this blue trapped bubble. Yes, Lord, she replied, grabbing a butcher's knife from the kitchen. Isaac, watching through a crack in his door, trembled in fear. Scrambling around his room to find a hiding place, he noticed a trap door to the basement hidden under his rug. Without hesitation, he flung open the hatch, just as his mother burst through his door and threw himself down into the unknown depths below.